black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Urat, it's giveaway time. Before we get into today's video, let's go ahead and give away the Sega Genesis loaded up with 40 games. In order to do that fairly, we have to put our blinders on, but before that, I'm going to screen record the scrolling of the random selection of the comment. I already have the video preloaded here. We got lots of Segas in there. I'm gonna scroll back to the very, very top, and I'm gonna click on my screen record so you guys can see me going up, down, and all around. And we're going to blindfold ourselves and just make sure we're in the right scrolling area. Not to click anything weird and do this wrong. Okay, boom, we're there. And ready, set, go. So down, 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 down. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 and all around and back down. And then up again and then down. And then up again and then down again. And then we stop. So, there it is. There's my thumb. Oh, this is awkward. But Groot Aria. Groot Aria. I will comment below that you have won the Sega. And what I need from you then is, is for you to email me. I'll leave the, uh, the instructions for this in this comment. But I want you to email me a snapshot, a screenshot of you logged into your YouTube account so I know that it's definitely you because anybody could just reply to this in my email and claim that they are you and you know what I mean? So I need you to basically go into your account where you're logged in and just screenshot and send me that so I know for sure that it's you and then we can move forward with shipping it to you. So Grult Aria. Congrats. Now let's get into today's vidski. Yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Back with another one today. And a big shout out to Emmanuel Lopez. Emmanuel Lopez. I'd say probably about a week ago, I did a very impromptu McDonald's uh, just truck bang. And after that video, he hit my inbox saying, yo, dude, you got to try their breakfast items, but how I like them. And that is with jam, jam on everything. Now, he didn't say what jam it had to be, up to my preference, so I brought two. One's a jelly, one's a jam. This is my jam, this jam. Strawberry, no chunks, just the pure seedless, chunkless. That's my jam. And then, of course, we have to have, coming in hot, from my grandma's cracker board, charcuterie board, every Christmas, the red chili, kind of spicy, pretty sweet jelly. So I'll definitely be honoring his wish. I'll be trying it his way, his preferred way, but I'm also gonna show him one of my favorite creations here at McDonald's and the way I like it. But before we do anything more, we must. Papa, pour. Perhaps we can sneak in by the sausage and egg McMuffins, because that's what I got, sausage and egg McMuffins, but they didn't put eggs on them, so I had to make my own when I got home. So these are not McDonald's eggs. They are my own homemade eggs. Good going drive through guys. And apple juice. I forget, I always forget how good it is. All right, here we go. Three hash browns, two breakfast burritos, and two sausage and egg McMuffins that I remedied myself. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and kick this thing off right with this. I think that's where you probably would all want to go. And he says I gotta have it with jam. So here we go. And I think what I'll do is just a quick dab application right onto the actual muffin. Emmanuel, is that a sufficient amount in your world? I think it'll do for me. And here we go. Moment of truth. Sausage and egg with that jam right there. That's the jam. Look at it. Mm. Oh, 
Whoa. That's actually awesome. Mm. Yo, the sweetness. with the sausage. That's so good. Good call, bro. Good call. I do want to give it a try. One bite with a nice chunk of this red pepper jelly. Quite the nice little amount there. I love this stuff so much. If you've never tried it, the sweet heat is perfectly balanced and it's amazing on top of toasted bagel or toast, cream cheese, then that, chefs. All right, so next we definitely have to go into the most godly hash browns ever exist, right? McDonald's hash browns are absolute crack. One half strawberry, one half red pepper jelly. Red pepper, straws. Let's go straws first. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure that the full sweetness is where it's at. With crispy potatoes, I always like how in ketchup and barbecue sauce and stuff you have like a vinegary cut. Okay, next up we got a Southwest breakfast burrito. Yo, tell me why they did this. Did they do this anywhere else uh, in the world? They used to have white tortillas and now they only have these like almost stoned wheat like tortillas and I, I really don't like them. They're kind of whack. I just wanted to get through the top to get to some goods because a lot of times the top of these are just tortilla. Very lackluster interior. But I tell you what, there's something <clears throat> about these Southwest burritos. They are so so good especially with that salsa we got our proper amount of salsa today mm -hmm. that's where it's at the salsa with these burritos one of my favorite things for McDonald's breakfast. Oh, the salsa also absolutely rips on the hash browns. One of my favorite moves is definitely a full pack almost pretty much on the brown and take her down. That's the best. Bar none. A 
All right, my dude, let's put you on a little hoodie's way how he likes his sausage and egg McMuffin. Right here. Mayonnaise. Quite a bit. And a salsa. Quite a bit. Flip, squish, and get ready for the bite of a lifetime, my friend. That's what's up. I always used to have these extremely drunk. Coming home at like 5 30, 6 o'clock. After getting done a serving shift, get a little turned up for a few hours. By the time you head home, McDonald's breakfast is serving. These guys were always going down. Mm. And it's even better when you put your own eggs on it. The McDonald's rubber puck eggs sometimes kind of send me. Don't love them. But they are. It is actually currently breakfast time here. It's 5.30 a.m. My sleep schedule is very backwards. And I just drove at 5 a.m. right when they, when they opened to get this. And it's like snowing outside. And there's nobody out. So it's all misty, snowy, untouched roads. Just some snow, snow removal guys every once in a while in trucks. But it was like both very peaceful, but also kind of eerie. Just really strange going out into the world and just nobody's out there. Also very fun ripping some tail whips in the fresh snow. So fun. Okay. Best for last, maybe? I think I'm going to have to call it after this because I don't think I'm going to be able to handle that. I'm, uh, I'm in a place of perfect right now after this. Very satisfied. Untouchable, baby. Untouchable. The way they crunch and the way they crumble apart. Magnificent. But okay. That's that. Thank you, Emmanuel. Mr. Lopez. I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.